Lou's a story about acceptance. Um, uh, we have a lost and found box who believes that giving things back is his sole purpose in life, that he, uh, he finds true happiness in giving things, uh, especially lost items that have, that have been found. And he meets a character that believes that uh, he can take whatever he wants, um, but the character's actually kind of does that because he's trying to get attention. He wants to be sort of accepted by other kids around him and they kind of come to grips and uh, uh, there's an interesting outcome. <laughs> I had a bunch of stuff that I drew up that I said, oh, he, he, different types of things that he could do. And then I went to the animators and I was like, what, uh, what are we missing? What else can we do with him? And they drew like the craziest stuff. And um, and, then, and then we, you know, then he folded in the film, and then we, they had to animate it, and they're like, 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 just kicking themselves because, like, why did I make this crazy thing? So, um, yeah, that's the that's for me. That's the, the most fun is that he can do anything, and man, there's so many jokes and so much fun you can get with that. So, Riley, how was the first day of school? Fine, I guess. <laughs> Did you guys pick up on that? Sure mm -hmm. did. Something's wrong. Signal the husband. <laughs> I've been an animator for since like tw uh, 91, so 26 years. Um, been working for Disney since 95 and um, been with Pixar since 2000. But it's the right film for me because it's, it really was about a personal experience. When I was a kid, I moved around a lot. and. Um, you, I always felt like I either wanted to be, like being the new kid, you want to be invisible or, you know, you want to kind of hide. And I thought, that, you know, that would be a really cool character, this, a kid that could, or a character that could be invisible. And that's why I found, came up with the idea of the Lost and Found box. Good afternoon. Are you in need of any assistance today, sir? No. I feel like the art, um, pushes technology and then technology informs art. Like there's things that we want to do. Um, we come up with, you know, there's a lot of times at Pixar where we'll come up with something that we want to do for a film that we haven't done before and the technology will, you know, artists will, they'll, they'll work really hard to, to find that. And then sometimes um, the people that are writing tools and things like that, they'll come to us and say, hey, we have this really great new tool. Like with Lou, we had this new tool that we could actually sim the cloth on, on his character and then we can animate the cloth afterwards with the, without breaking all the simulation, which was a really kind of a big thing for us. And just those two things working together, I'm always working hand in hand with uh, the technical side uh, to get the, the films made.